In this video lecture, I will explain conversion of left linear grammar to finite automata. So we have seen conversion of right linear grammar to finite automata. So right linear grammar to finite automata was straightforward. Here what we have to do, uh, whatever uh, left linear grammar is given to us, we have to first uh, take the reverse of the uh, CFG. So CFG, uh, because all the regular grammar will be CFG also. So that's why it is written CFG and create a finite automata for that. So first whatever left linear grammar is given to you, you have to reverse it. And then for that you, uh, uh, you create the finite automata and then again take the reverse of the finite automata and that will be the final answer. So this is the example. So you can see here this is left linear grammar. So why it is left linear grammar? Because here right hand uh, side we have a single non-terminal and that single non-terminal is the leftmost symbol. Okay. So we have three non-terminal here A, B and C and these are the production. So what we will do if I have to write le from left linear grammar to finite automata. So we will first reverse the reverse uh, the reverse the grammar okay and then for that we will construct finite automata and then reverse the finite automata and that will be the final answer okay so uh, now we'll see okay how to write the finite automata for this left linear grammar so this was the question okay we had uh, three uh, non terminal a b and c and uh, here what we will do first step is we have to reverse the uh, see, uh, reverse the grammar. So reversing the grammar means if I have A to B, A and A, B and B. Okay. So reversing means after reversing it will be, it will be B, A will become A, B, A, B will become B, A and B will be B only. So like this second one uh, B also it will be A, C and this B, B will become B, B okay and then C will be A A and this C B will be B capital C and A. So this is after reversing okay. So this is step 1. So first we have reversed the uh, given uh, grammar whatever this is left linear grammar. So we have reversed it after reversing we get this and then what we have to do for this we have to create the finite automata. So from grammar to once and see you can see here this is now right linear grammar. So grammar to finite automata the same procedure we will apply how we uh, write the finite automata from the right linear grammar. So if I have three non-terminal a b and c we will write uh, uh, three states a b and c and from state a to state b there is a transition for input a. So we'll write for input A from state A to A there is a transition for input B. So there will be self loop on A and from A uh, the input B. So here anyway uh, this means see here there are two things first I'll explain this and the other method also I will tell. So here what we are doing we are saying A is only the final state. So then uh, the input this terminal should go to the final state and since this only is the final state so that's why self loop on B this part also will be taken care. And then from state B uh, to C there is a transition for input A so B to C there is a transition for input A. B to B there is a self loop on I mean B to B there is a transition for input B so that means self loop on B and then uh, C to A C to A there is a transition for input A so C to A. C to C there is a transition for input B so that will be this will be basically B and this also is B only okay and then C to A that means the uh, terminal A it should go to the final state since A is only the final state so it will go here and then this is what step 2 we have created the finite automata for this grammar. Now step 3 we have to reverse the finite automata. So reversing the finite automata what we do we have to make start as final final as start and since A itself is the final uh, state that is why again it becomes start state as well as final state because you here start and final both are same. So that's why this only will be the start and final after reversing also and then reverse the direction of all the edges. So here it was from A to B now we will we'll make it B to A. Same way from B to C instead of B to C we will make it from C to B and this was from C to A so we will make it from A to C. So you can do like this or there is one more method what we can do here this is the 
this is the grammar right this is this is now after reversing after reversing after reverse the grammar after reversing this is what this is right linear grammar basically so from this now we have to write the finite automata so there are three states so we will draw okay a b and c a is the start state and final we will introduce one more uh, what we say final state we will call it d and from a to b there is a transition for input a a to a there is a transition for input b that means self loop and a to b so that should go to the final state the terminal should go to the final state same way b to c there is a transition for input a b to b there is a transition for input b so that is self loop and a to c there is a transition for input a and a to uh, sorry c to c there is a transition for input b so there will be self loop and that a should go to the final state so this is finite automata this is finite automata for this and then we have to reverse it so when re when we reverse it what we will do this becomes start and this becomes final so after reversing now this a becomes final okay b c and this d becomes start state okay and the direction of the edges will be reversed self loop will remain same b b and this will be a this also will be a this will be a this will be b and this will be b so you can see here this one this one and this one both are same the language generated by both the machine will be same only so you want you can introduce one new uh, final state or here itself uh, with this also we can do so both are correct so hope you have understood the concept of conversion of left linear grammar to finite automata thank you for watching